Well, folks, here it is. Part 2 of Sam the Thomas Fan 1's Thomas and Friends Season 17 Reviews. Episode 2, Kevin's Cranky Friend. If you haven't seen that episode yet, the link to it is in the description box. The episode starts out with a busy day on Brendam Docks. Cranky was working as hard as he could, but the cargo kept on coming. Cranky wonders if all the loading and lifting will ever stop. Cranky's load almost hits Thomas. Thomas tells Cranky to be careful, but Cranky tells Thomas that he is always careful. Thomas asks Cranky if he can unload him now, but Cranky says no and says that Thomas has to wait his turn, and he asks him if he can see how busy he is. A horn goes off and Cranky turns to it saying, I'm coming, I'm coming. Salty then bows up laughing like a pirate. He says that if Cranky gets crankier, there might be dark clouds on the horizon. When Cranky finally unloads Thomas, he arrives at Napa Station late. Oh no, what will the Fat Controller say? The Fat Controller tells Thomas that he should have been here an hour ago. Thomas apologises and explains that the reason why he was late was because Cranky was so busy. The Fat Controller decides to go to the docks and see what's happening. The Fat Controller's car pulls into the docks and the Fat Controller steps out and sees chaos. Oh dear, Cranky's in trouble now. James and Henry were also at the docks, impatiently waiting for Cranky. The Fat Controller shows Cranky the mess and asks what is going on. Cranky replies by saying he is working as fast as he can. The Fat Controller says he can see that, and thinks Cranky can need some help. Cranky says he doesn't need help, then Cranky's net of balls tears open and all the balls fall everywhere. The Fat Controller has enough, and tells Cranky he is sending another crane to help him on the dockside. Cranky exclaims that he doesn't need any help, but the Fat Controller already drives away. Salty watches the whole thing and tells Cranky that help is coming soon. A workman nearly drops his wood on Salty and he tells him to be careful. The Fat Controller then drives to the steamworks. He talks to Victor and asks if he can spare, spare Kevin for the day. Victor accepts, saying that he and Kevin are quiet. He calls Kevin and he rides up to Victor and the Fat Controller. The Fat Controller tells Kevin he has a special job for him. Kevin gets so excited, spinning around and saying no crane has ever gotten a special job before. Victor tells Kevin to calm down. Kevin apologises. The Fat Controller then tells him he needs him to work at Brendan Docks and help Cranky. Kevin gasps and says he always wanted to go to the docks and he always wanted to meet Cranky. Wow, it's, it's, it's like he wants him to... It's like he wants Cranky to take him under his hook tell him everything he has to know and be like his big brother, like Rainbow Dash and Scootaloo from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. The Fat Controller says he will make arrangements and Kevin will start right away. Thomas took Kevin to Brendam Docks where he introduces him to it. Kevin says it's amazing. He was so excited to be at the docks and he was really excited looking forward to meeting Cranky. Kevin says hello to Cranky and introduces himself and says he's here to lend a helping hook, and asks him what he needs him to do. Cranky says that he told the Fat Controller, and he's telling him he doesn't need any help, especially from a funny lo looking crane like him. Now that was mean, even for Cranky. Kevin tells Cranky that the Fat Controller says helping him is his special job, and says there must be something for him to do. Cranky then tells Kevin to go to the corner and stay out of his way, and British is saying he doesn't need any help, so Kevin does. At that moment, Salty pulls up. He tells Kevin not to fret and that he will get used to Cranky's crankiness. Cranky continues to work on his own, but there was so much to do. He drops some pipes on the dock side. Kevin jumps in and rushes to help. He makes a pyramid out of the pipes. Nice pyramid, Kevin. But instead of being grateful, Cranky was furious. He calls Kevin a silly little crane and says it was his fault that he dropped the pipes. He says he keeps on watching him and it makes him nervous. Then he tells him to go back to the corner and to stop interrupting. While Cranky was saying he can do well on his own, he dropped some crates for chickens. The chickens 
break out and panic all over the place. Salty gets surprised by all the chickens. There were chickens here, and chickens there, and chickens everywhere. And once again, Kevin rushes to help. Strike two. Kevin tells Cranky everything is un under control, while he rounds up all the chickens and gets them back in their crates. Salty says well done to Kevin and says he is a credit to the crew, but Cranky doesn't think so and says he thought he told Kevin to stay out of his way, and says going, and says going all, all over the docks makes him dizzy. Kevin starts to say but, and Cranky interrupts saying no buts, and tells him to go back into the corner and start putting his hook where he's not wanted. Thomas arrives just as Kevin goes back into his corner. Thomas asks Kevin why he's not in, how he's enjoying his day at the docks. Kevin replies by saying it isn't very well because he doesn't think Cranky likes him. Thomas says Cranky isn't bad once you get once you get used once you get to know him. Salty says under all of Car Cranky's graph lives a heart of gold. Cranky then knocks over a barrel. Barrel. Cranky says uh, and then Thomas says oh. <laughs> what are they, Bash and Dash? <sighs> Sorry. Anyway, Kevin doesn't know what to do. The Baron starts to roll into the sea. Kevin tells Cranky not to worry because he's got it, but he accidentally knocks the Barrow into the sea. Then, he loses control and reverses into the sea. Thomas shouts, Kevin! That shout deserves a gold star. Salty then says, Crane all aboard! Train overboard! Kevin calls for help as he starts sh as he starts sinking. Cranky says that he told Kevin to stay put, but nobody listens to old Cranky as he starts pulling Kevin out. Salty says well done to Cranky. A crab falls onto Kevin's nose. <laughs> Sorry. The fat controller arrives unexpectedly and asks what is going on and tells Kevin that he thought he could trust him with his special job as Cranky lowers him down. Craig Kevin starts spluttering as the Fat Controller says he thinks he should send him back to the Steamworks, as he is not helping here at all. Kevin sighs because he tried to be a really useful crane and it all went wrong, and now he was being sent, sent away in disgrace. Cranky watches Kevin go and speaks up, telling the Fat Controller that it wasn't Kevin's fault, it was his. He says Kevin was just trying to help. Saying that he might be a bit reckless, but he's a hard worker and really useful. Kevin exclaims, realizing that Cranky does like him and he thinks he's really useful. And he called him Kevin. Ah, oh, that's adorable. Salty says once more, a heart of gold. The Fat Controller says it's good to see Kevin and Cranky working together and tells them to carry on as he leaps. Kevin thanks Cranky and asks what he wants them to do now. He asks if it's to stay in the corner because he doesn't want to get in the way. Cranky finally admits that maybe he does need a little help. After all, two helps are better than one. That's amazing, hearing that from Cranky. And then he says that they must get to the docks. Must get the docks to look ship shape. Kevin says okay and calls Cranky boss. Kevin compliments on he and Cranky working as a team, and he carries a lot of crates, as he carries a lot of crates. Salty says Kevin is doing a fine job. Cranky agrees, but he asks why he has to do it so cheerfully. So the episode was good. Cranky's trouble at the docks, Kevin trying to work with him, Thomas and Cranky finishing uh-oh, Thomas screaming Kevin, and Kevin with a crab on his nose, made the episode really enjoyable to watch, and I give it 3 stars out of 5. This is Sam the Thomas Fan 1's Thomas and Friends Season 17 Review Part 2 on Kevin's Cranky Friend. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you also enjoy the next review on Scruff's Makeover tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to reviewing that. Thank you for listening to my thoughts, and thanks for watching.